And so begins, I had to reformat. I, I wanted to just start over with the gadget because I could not get certain things to work. And that bothered me. I, I want things to work. If things don't work, then I'm not happy. <laughs> and I'm going to film this whole video. I'm going to try on the DJI Osmo Action 3. I don't know how it does with close-ups, but we're going to find out. It does ultra-wide, and the audio is pretty good without any mics, which is great because I don't have one that's compatible. So here goes nothing. Uh, today is Friday, October 7th. Yeah, 15 days later with the Apple Watch Ultra Alpine Loop. This strap. So as soon as I unlock my iPhone with my face, there we go. 726. Let's go. Set up for myself. Hold Apple Watch near the camera. Software update? Sure. That is beautiful. That is so pretty. And don't get me wrong, I do like the Alpine Loop. I like this Italian band that I got last summer. It's a little warped and Apple replaced it with this one. So I didn't get just one replacement band, I got two. And this is my Apple Watch 6 LTE that I've been rocking for a while. This is a beautiful black leather band that this awesome dude in California made for me. Thank you, Josh. Unable to check for update. Checking for a software update because Failed. You're not connected to the internet? What? Your Apple Watch is up to date with the latest bug and securities. Your Apple Watch is paired? Restore from a backup? No. Set up as a new Apple Watch. When you have issues, don't... Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> don't try to restore. That would be bad. Oh, you know what? This would be a great thumbnail. Oh, yeah. Right? No, no. Yeah, that's groovy. Continue. So now we're going through just the regular stuff terms and conditions and signing into my account this may take a few minutes they aren't kidding it takes a lot of minutes and we need a little more lighting in here so I go behind the scenes this is my torch lamp and then oh look away so now that bounces directly off the ceiling and it looks pretty good I think so really one two three four and then a lot of times I use that one. There we go. Apple, create a passcode. It really is beautiful. And it does sit up on the wrist a lot more than people say. Wow, that really is a wide angle. <laughs> 726, it's now 732. Optimize charge on it, continue, shared. Get notifications about your health. You know, let's try it. Because this is what failed last time. Nope, same error code as before. Get to know, yep, so now it's syncing. This part usually takes a few hot minutes. Okay, we usually don't do this view. My little digital journal. Oh, device added to your Apple Watch now has access to iMessage. That's useful. This is my electronic ink brain. It is the remarkable tablet that I've been testing for 23 months. Love it. Cons number one, larger on the wrist. It feels taller, wider, thicker, and it feels heavier. The cost, it's $250 more than it was last year. It's a flat screen, which can be good, but it is truly exposed. Number four, the cost to repair. Number five, no battery life estimate yet. Samsung has that, lots of other people do. So right here on a Garmin, you just scroll on down and it says, See, 20% or eight days left. Eight days. Yeah, take that Apple. So now it's still synchronizing. Number six, the action button makes it more difficult to take screenshots. Boom, screenshot. Now when you're doing that on this one, you always, you always click that action button. So you have to either pinch to the very top or to the side and hey okay, number seven animations don't replay <laughs> last month I spent a lot of time trying to get all of my rings and I wanted the perfect month and then when you do that you get this really cool animation and I missed it I, I wish the animations replayed that, that's it it's that simple number eight there's no web page view of your data 
Garmin, Fitbit, Withings, Aura, you know, the Aura rings that I wear, those all have this really cool web interface and you can really drill down and see that data in real time. There we go. So there's an example. Look at all that data. I mean, it's, it's amazing. It's a plethora of data and it's awesome. And you can do that with Fitbit and several others. Number nine, the sharing of data. I can go to a workout, quickly find that workout. So here we go. We'll do this live. I'll go back to yesterday when I played disc golf. There we go. Simple file disc golf. I can view that activity. And then I can send that exact URL to the activity to my coworkers, to my friends, to my family. I can post it on social media. You can't do that with Apple, and that bothers me. Number 10, exports. I can export that workout. How do I export a workout on you? You can't. Number 11, the crown wheel gets caught in my arm, hair, and skin. And I, you know, this, if you shave your arms, this isn't gonna be an issue, but am I that furry? So it just gets, it gets caught. Here, I'll take this off. Sorry, flip it. And this is the adapter that I got with another watch band. We'll go into that in another video. I'll do a separate video about watch bands. So this one, you just find the top of the phone, click, slide that in. And then it slides on your wrist. Beautiful. So right there, so you know, right now it's high enough, so it's not going to do that, but it just, it gets caught in my skin and, yeah. Okay, next. Number 12, the night watch face. There's only one option. I mean, you, you go for this premium phone Apple and then you only include one option? Why would you? <laughs> That just makes no sense. And I can't show you because the thing, but I'll flip it on there. There's a photo of the one nighttime. You know, if you're an explorer and you're going to be wearing this thing for weeks on end, you're going to want more than one watch face to view at night. That's just me. Number 13, still cannot play music via the Apple Watch speakers. And I say speakers because now there's two. It has really good speakers. But even if you have Apple iTunes and you have the premium membership <laughs> and you download the music, no, you have to have a Bluetooth device. And that, that bothers me. I, I get it, Apple. You, you want to make money. You want us to buy your latest AirPods, even though I've, I've already had the pair that you released 10 months ago. No. Okay, number 14. The temperature feature for water and air is not available at all times. Let me show you how Garmin does it and a few others. So this is the watch and it has barometric pressure as a temperature gauge. I can scroll down here. Now you can see the screen. So you just scroll up, 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 up. Just keep scrolling, keep scrolling. Temperature, 23 degrees Celsius. That's the room temperature of my little home studio here. And I can drop this in the water and check the temperature of the water. I don't have to be diving. It's just always there. Why doesn't Apple make that available on the Ultra? That makes no sense whatsoever. This is the, the positive part. This is, you know, we gotta talk about the pros. Number one, larger battery, longer life. Number two, sapphire screen, which you also get on the Apple Watch 8. Number three, the third button, the little orange thing right there. Number four, low power mode, which I need to fully test, but it's nice that's an option. Before, the Apple Watch was just on or watch-only mode, and watch-only mode is completely feckless. Number five, precision start. Very nice. So basically, you're at the starting line, and again, Garmin and several other people have this. You click the start button, and then you go to your race. So we're going to say it's going to be a pool swim, right? So I open up my pool swim. It gets the GPS. And then as soon as they hit the firing gun, boom, I click start. Well, you couldn't do that with Apple. You had to, you'd have, you'd start your workout ahead of time and then you'd have to, anyway, it's very confusing. Back to battery estimates. 
Garmin and also several others give you a battery estimate when you're in the workout to let you know how long you have. So based on my battery life right now, I could do a swim workout at 28% battery for 53 hours. Press to pause. This is a cool feature. Okay, number seven, detect gym equipment. I don't remember the other Apple Watch doing this, and we'll just check it real quickly. So if you go under settings, scroll all the way down to workout, low power mode, okay. Start workout reminder and workout, press to pause. Okay, it's not that new. <laughs> it, it, it's on here as well, detect gym equipment. It was new to me, so I included it. Number eight, water temp with depth while diving. So even though it's a con, it's also a perk because you didn't have it before. Number nine, the larger screen real estate. Loving that. Number 10, louder speakers, louder Siri, easier to hear workout feedback. So I was by a busy road and I could still hear my lap info because I had turned up the volume. So that was pretty cool. Number 11, the siren. Number 12, LTE connectivity. It just comes with it. That's nice. Number 13, the more rugged design. I, I like it. Number 14, a fresh look. Whether your friend's wearing an Apple Watch 6 or, I mean, yeah, you can see the red crown that indicates, but that's so subtle. This one, it's hard to tell if this was black. You wouldn't know if this is the Apple Watch 6 or the 4 or the 3 or the 8 or because they all look the same. It's nice to have that fresh look. And... There goes my stylus. Number 15, faster navigation. It's really subtle, but when you're navigating and opening apps and just going through the phone itself, the UI, the user experience is better. 14 cons and 15 pros about the Apple Watch Ultra 15 days later. I noticed something else on that siren. The 85 decibel siren, could it be used as an alarm for a person in danger? I think yes. I was talking to some uh, women at a conference, Silicon Slopes, and she goes, you know, I jog at night and I often jog by myself. I would really like that feature. Also, how many seconds does it take to sound the alert and warn the public for help? Let me show you that in just a minute. Okay, that was cool. With the watch face not even fully on it, it is like this little trillo thing, and then the watch face just came on. So we are at 23% battery life. Here's the one watch face you get if you're an explorer, and then you slide that, and there you go. That's that's the one watch face, your nighttime vision watch face. That That's all you get. I imagine that they're gonna add more. I mean, why would they not? Okay, and the siren, okay, cover your ears. And it goes louder, all the way up to a smidge over 85 to 86 decibels. And you can make a shortcut. I'll get to that in a bit. 